Welcome to Chicago 47. Your main target, Richard Strong Jr., is the CEO of Stallion Armaments, a high-profile weapons manufacturer. Richard Strong is an exceedingly private figure who rarely moves in public, so the best window of opportunity is during his brief appearance at the company's annual retreat. However, keep in mind that the place will be packed with witnesses. Our client wants Richard Strong eliminated, along with his entire host of bodyguards. Apparently, he wants to send a message. Richard Strong is highly punctual and will only mingle with his employees for 15 minutes. At precisely 6 o'clock, he will leave the premises, so be mindful of the time. There should, however, be plenty of opportunities for a more silent approach. I know you appreciate that. Good luck, 47. Salutations! This is Mesa's Realm once again, and this is a very, very special commentary. And the reason why this is a very special commentary is because I am playing a game that I have been waiting to play for six years. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hitman Sniper Challenge from the game Hitman Absolution. Now, if you guys are an absolute fan of this franchise like I am, you will find this to make you get really, really excited for November 20th to come because it is absolutely incredible. Hitman Absolution is probably going to be one of the best stealth shooters to ever hit the market just because of the way that they've improved uh, the, the, the franchise by adding some interesting mechanics to this game to make it unique and incredible at the same time. Now, one of those mechanics you actually just witnessed for the last uh, two or three targets that I took out, and that is that you can actually hide bodies from a distance now. Uh, and the reason why you could do that is because they've improved the mechanics of the ragdoll effect that was introduced in Hitman 2. Um, and, and that effect is that whenever you shoot a target in this game, the velocity of the bullet can actually... It, it, it's just really realistic when it hits your target. For example, as you saw me take that guy out near the helicopter um, landing pad there, I shot him in the head, and the sheer velocity of the bullet hitting him in the head made him lunge forward and fall off the edge, which in turn hid the body, because it fell off the building and onto the street below, and um, that hides the body from everyone else around in the party. So it, it's considered hiding the body. Um, and there's many different ways you can do it. You can do that on, on the water fountain, as you just saw two seconds ago there, and use your environment to hide your bodies from a distance with a sniper rifle. And, and it's just great how the, the actual stopping power of the bullet can, can manipulate your target to do what you want it to do to from a distance. So it's it's just a really incredible mechanic that they added to it and it it's just unbelievably satisfying to be able to do that. It's just I don't even know how to describe how awesome it is. But um as far as the sniper rifle mechanics are concerned, uh they've changed that a little bit too. Um in Hitman Blood Money, you could kind of steady your aim a little bit more. Um, and they added that mechanic, but it's all in the trigger pull in this game, which is very realistic. 
because um, in real life, I'm sure snipers n not only hold their breath to steady, but it's also in the trigger, the trigger pull, excuse me, That's the trigger pull target. that determines how accurate your shot's going to be. So they, what they call it in this game, obviously, is what they call it in real life, and that is the, the hair trigger uh, pull. So the lighter you pull the trigger, the more accurate your shot will be. If you really hold the trigger and pull it really hard, it will kind of pull your shot. So it, it's very realistic when it comes to the hair trigger effect that they added to this game. And it's, it's really awesome. It brings an element to sniping that I have not seen in any other game up to this point. Um, I mean, Battlefield 3, for example, has uh, bullet time and bullet drop. And there's no real trigger control to, to be had in that game. In this game though, completely different. Not only do you have sway from fatigue, um, you have bullet time, you've got bullet drop, you've got bullet ricochets, you've got all that stuff that actually happens in real world sniping and it makes you feel immersed in the in in this in this game when you're sniping it's incredible so um it's it's an experience unlike any other and this is just the sniper challenge the game hasn't even come out i don't even know what other elements are going to be in that game because it's too soon to tell but from what i can see here in this hitman challenge sniper challenge um i just can't wait for the game to be released i'm such a huge fan um, and I've been waiting for this game for six years, as I said. I mean, Hitman Blood Money came out in 2006, and it was revolutionary when it came out. And I'm pretty sure that Absolution is going to push the same envelope and, and actually do it in a much better way than Blood Money did. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Hitman um, you will find that the controls, even though they've been slightly altered a little bit from Blood Money, are still very, very usable and actually a little bit better as far as the fluid movements are concerned. Uh, of course, I can't tell you how those controls are going to be when you're actually playing the actual full game because you can't really free roam in, in the sniper challenge but from the aiming and reloading and and steadying of the rifles it, it seems like they've improved the controls and and that they're they're a little bit better than they were in in blood money and blood money's controls were actually pretty good i the controls have been excellent ever since hitman 2 in my opinion um, it's been very playable and very fluid. However, Codename 47 had their issues with controls. Um, it was obviously a PC only game and the controls were not user friendly at all on the PC. Uh, they were kind of a, a pain to, to learn and, and to, you know, to, to do things smoothly in that game. However, I still played the hell out of that game and I enjoyed the story. And, and the cinematic elements in that game. And it seems like the Hitman Absolution team, the, the developers of this game, took under account all the things that made the franchise great and brought that back to Absolution. Um, for example, the cinematics that were in Hitman Codename 47, they definitely have those in this game. Uh, I know that because of the the gameplay that has been shown at, at E3 and, and other gaming conventions where you can see they have cutscenes that make the gameplay even more immersive and epic. So uh, they brought that element to it. Um, they've brought the sense of, of stealth back to shooters. Yes, I mean... You've got games that, that have implemented stealth to their gameplay and, and do it quite well, like Ghost Recon, for example. That's a good, a good example. But none of them are 
as stealthy as this. I mean, you you basically have to hide all your 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 targets that you take out. You can't shoot civilians. Um, I mean, you can, but it really affects your score and and your overall performance on the mission. Um, your evidence, um, all that stuff, the evidence you leave behind, all that stuff impacts the the overall gameplay and 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 how characters react to their environment because of that. Um, and it makes it challenging, but really rewarding, really rewarding. Um, and I can't even begin to say how rewarding it is. Um, of course, I'm sure to get the Silent Assassin ranking in not only the Hitman Sniper Challenge, but in Hitman Absolution when the game is fully released, I'm sure it's going to be a tough, tough thing to do. And it's going to take a lot of, of planned shots. And, and it's just, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't talk enough about it. Um, so, I mean, we're coming close to the end of the gameplay here. I have one target left. I am looking all over for him. I remember I was like, where the hell is this guard? I could not find him. And the, the crowd was still there because I had cleared out all the guards and used some of their bodies as bait. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the Silent Assassin ranking because I did that. But, um... I still couldn't find him, and then right at the end, I decided to check one more perch uh, on the top left, and I think that's about to, I'm about to find him here, and then I take the shot, and I complete the mission, so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, uh, I'm really excited about the game, and until next time, this has been Maze's Realm, well done, I'm out. Leave your position.